So now I wanted to explain you what this stuff is for. It's kind of like a play clay. You can open it and you can close these holes with it. Because we added um, brake inlets for lefties and righties. So one of them should definitely be closed if you're running AXS like remote control stuff seat post or um, rear derailleur you should close more of them it's definitely enough to close a few of them so you just grab a little bit with a finger here then what you should do as a preparation if i'm having my rear brake on the right i want to enter from here so i want this one to be closed actually but to make it easier for you to follow i will just close one of these ones right now so what you have to do is with a little bit of tape here top that helps you to modulate pretty easy then you need to play with this in your fingers for about 10 seconds yeah i think it should feel sticky and get a little bit warm in your fingers then all you do is you just walk in with it and push it from the inside after you did that, you just have to wait and leave it alone for about 24 hours. And it gets all hard. Very nice. So if that happens, that the film um, rips off a little bit of the material, you can simply use a little wet finger and remodulate a little bit from outside right so it will look perfect in the end so that is perfectly sealed waterproof dust proof everything yeah So from mounting the chain guide, you just need to set up this little back plate. And then, uh, yeah. All right. After you fix the, the back plate of the chain guide, you need to measure from the back plate to the center and i'd say this is seven millimeters so if you measure seven millimeters that means no spacer at all if you have like now the this is for the 49 millimeter chain line if you have 49 millimeter um, chain lines if you have a boost chain line you can consider probably plus three you need to add the bigger um, spacer behind the idler pulley and reinstall it. Then you would need uh, three millimeters of washer, right? As we need uh, none right now, 
easiest way is to get it set up like this because you want to get it behind so there you go at this one's here and you just refocus a little bit so and there we go height looks perfect everything looks basically perfect you can close that bolt with two to three newton meter just like the other ones and it should make your chain stay there nice and tidy so if you need iscg tabs it's super easy to mount this one you have to mount it under the bb shell all you need to do is to make sure the laser engravement is on the outside so readable and the iscg05 is on top now it goes a little bit hard but that's all right because then it stays in place nicely and then you just place your bb cup of course you should grease it and yeah that's it